2019, then 2020 was a crazy year. How many did you sell in 2020? It was close to 100. I didn't have no job. Basic dived into the ocean. So I want everybody to make money. 2017, I sold the business. Why did you decide to join EXP? Today we got a special guest, Alex Frankov, and I want to dive deep into his story, exactly where he started, and let's talk about how you came up about from where you are now and where you were when you first started. Sure. Um, thank you again for the spending time, taking the time with me here, and uh, appreciate it. Uh, all the all that you guys do so far for me, and I really appreciate it. Um, so a little bit about myself. So I immigrated from Ukraine in 1999. Um, I went to middle school. Then I just found out that I wanted to do something that I'm actually passionate about, which is sales. Um, I did never. I came. I was very shy, believe it or not. I, I mean, we always went to church, and I always was the shy guy. Never was, any, you know, didn't come off as a, you know, spontaneous or, a, you know, I was always a quiet kid on a block. And then you know, I got married in 2017. We moved to Yakima. Uh, we didn't, I didn't have no job. Uh, basically, like, I, what I like to say is basic dived dived into the ocean with basically like no job. I was, okay, this is my goal. I wanted to bec become a nurse. I just basically dived in and, and then, you know, it was amazing that God has led me to uh, places where I never dreamed about. And, uh, you know, I'm very blessed and humbled um, to be where I'm at right now. And, um, you know, you, you know, they say you got to count your blessings and I always count my blessings. So it was a long journey, you know, going to studying to become a nurse. Um, and I just found out um, this is something I'm not willing to to do. I get attached to people a lot. And that wasn't something I was I didn't see myself doing it for all my life. And then I, I started doing wholesaling fruits. So fruits. fruits, yeah, it was funny story. Um, my, so I didn't have much money back then. We just got married, so I tried to budget my expenses. So we had the Mitsubishi Lancer. So, uh, so I told my wife, hey, let's take this back seats out. Let's get some apples in the back and let's, let's visit our family. And so at least we sell some fruits so we have to pay our road trip. Okay. Um, so I filled up literally like full, my car was sitting like a low rider. Uh, so we drove it from Yakima to Kent. I sold those apples probably in 30 minutes and I'm like, oh, and then, you know, like an idea came. I'm like, I can do, I like this. This is exciting. I'm like, I like doing the sales. So at that point, I rented a U-Haul, the biggest one they had, 26 foot, oh, wow. you know, filled it up with a bunch of apples, <laughs> Honeycrisp apples, Fuji apples, uh, Golden Delicious. It was pallets. It was my, when I brought it, I parked the, the U-Haul next to my, my in-law's uh, apartments. He's like, he thought that was crazy. <laughs> So the story is I sold that in about four days. The full truck of the Yuho apples filled like pallets, sold it. And, and I, at that point, I'm like, hey, I love doing this. I love being with people and uh, I love talking to people. And yeah, at that point, I'm like, okay, did that business. And then we lived there for three and a half years. So I did this business and then there was a, not, a I heard about FedEx, so uh, about FedEx owning your own franchise. Okay. So that was very interesting. So I'm like, hey, this sounds, it could be easy. I had zero experience in that field. So was this? that was, uh, that was, I would say 2021. So my oldest daughter, she's, uh, she's 13 now. Wow. She was born on um, January 1st. So I took a parental leave from from my work okay. and I did uh, like a, I had a regular job I went to school and I also hustled uh, selling selling fruits on the weekend which was 
a lot, um, but I enjoy it. So in 2021, we decided to move back to Auburn. And uh, at that point, another opportunity came around to make salad dressing. Uh, oh, wow. So it was like a full production line. Um, so at that point, I mean, I was never a cook. <laughs> so again, getting out of a, um, something out of comfort zone and I became a cook. I made, you know, different, I had different recipes and there's process for everything. Otherwise, if you don't follow the process recipe to a T, then it's not going to turn out the same like it's supposed to. So we did that for five years and then um, also doing the FedEx routes during that time. In 2017, I sold the business. Um, I also partnered up with a couple other guys. Um, it was partnership of three guys, me and two more. We sold that business right before uh, FedEx came out with the new rules that you have to work seven days a week to compete with Amazon. And I'm like, no way, I'm not, I'm done. This is, you know, it was six days a week, it was too much, but seven days, it was, it was just a, not fun at all. The money was good? The money was good, it was Money's a stable good. paycheck, but, um, but when you own the route, it feels like you take it away from you anytime if you screw up. Oh and one of your drivers could screw up. So you were under that constant fear that they could take that from you, which, you know, it was, so I am just, I'm done. So 2018, I got into absolutely new space, which is flipping homes. I, I'm like, how hard could that be? I'm like, I watched Flip and Flop. <laughs> I watched uh, another one. I'm like, I mean, if they can do it, I can do it. That was my mindset. I'm like, you know, 2018, I got into my first flip. Turned out it was good. It's, it was a manufactured home. It was two bedroom, um, two bath. I bought that one for 100K, put 40 into it, mm -hmm. and sold it for 269. Whoa. Yeah, so I had, it was, I'm like, wow. That was your first one. That was my first one. I, um, it was funny, my, my uncle, my wife's uncle, he just moved from Russia mm -hmm. and he had no, ex no experience doing any work. So I was, I did not even know what sheetrock was. <laughs> I, I mean, I did not, there's different thicknesses. I mean, all I know when we did our first one, he, there was like a big gap behind the door and I'm like, put some caulking on it. It was half inch. <laughs> it was crazy. So I, nobody taught me that. And so what I experienced in that year is that, uh, so I did uh, that nobody uh, wanted to actually tell you how to do it. Nobody wanted me to be successful. Everybody's like that kid. Oh, he's not gonna, he has, don't know nothing about construction. He's gonna fail. He's just, you know, it was just not a good support. But, but I loved it. I it was actually, this is how I'm wired. I'm wired differently. When s somebody tells me you can't do it, it gives me more motivation. Motivation, there yeah. you go. Yeah, and I see it in you, man. And You're different, bro. You're different. Yeah, and uh, so 2018, I did, I did eight flips. I'm like, man, I can do that. Damn. I, I made major mistakes. That's okay, though. It's okay to make mistakes because you learn. Yeah, I learned. And uh, so my second flip, it was funny. I mean, so it was in Maple Valley. Um, I bought that off of foreclosure auction. I bought that one for 611. Okay. I put about 200 into it and ended up selling it for 1 million. Wow. Uh, there was no house on the block and that actually sold close to it. So you but broke the record. I broke a record for the neighborhood. This the, is the one you sent me. This is the one I sent you. Yeah. That was a beautiful that one. Was, that was it, yeah. Man, and design, everything was fantastic. Yes, and you'll never believe who bought that house. I mean, so, uh, so Costco, second guy in charge of purchasing, he bought that house for his uh, bachelor son. And they just resold it for 350000 more without wow. doing anything. 
So, um, so it was just, it's, it's crazy. There's, there's some times where I feel like I shouldn't sell, sell one of the houses I did, and that was probably one of the ones I should have kept. I see. As my, as my rental. Ah. Yeah, so it was, it was crazy, you know. Because it would have cash flowed at that point. It, it would right? cash flowed, and um, I mean, it's, it's doubled in price Man. right now. So it's pretty, uh, but you know, yeah, you live, move on, you, live you, you live and you learn and you move on to the next project. Sure. And uh, yeah, so at that point, 2018, I did those eight flips okay. and I believe it or not, I held open my own uh, open houses. So just to help, just so I get more exposure. And you were an agent already? I was own? not an agent. And you I were holding your own? Holding my own open house. I wanted to get more exposure. Okay. And I love talking to people. And at that point, 2019, we had our youngest daughter. She's, um, uh, right now she just turned five. Man, it goes much fast. Yeah, and at that point, I'm like, okay, I got to become a realtor. Okay. And I did my online classes and, you know, in the morning, and then in the evening where it was quiet and um tell, tell the audience where, where you took your online class i did uh online through uh rockwell oh yeah um, i did the same yes it took me it, it's 90 hours but i had an idea of a little bit of how real estate worked so i'm very logical guy so it helps yeah. um uh, Oh, yeah. very helps but uh but i tell i tell this to everybody i mean if i can do this you can do it i mean it's simple as that uh, i took my test i got into it i uh 2019 i joined keller williams yeah okay so you started with keller williams, keller williams yes um i basically was not good uh, with like technology did not know how to how to input my listings, how to, you know, all I knew is how to talk to people and how to, to get people to trust me. And work with you. And work with me. That's and all that matters. Yes, yes. And uh, at that point, um, I had a million dollar listing, but I did, my office was joking with me and they're like, hey, we're not gonna give you a paycheck until you input, so that way everything in compliance. Uh, <laughs> so at that point, I just made the best decision ever, which is hire myself a TC. Oh man, that was, that's a life changer. That was a life changer. And she just took everything off of me and I could focus on, it's all about leverage. And to me, I think that was the best decision I did in 2019. And then after that, I got rolling. I got running, I was busy. Uh, 2019 was my very good year. I closed 38 transactions. For a rookie. For a first year. First year. I got award for that. You got the international rookie. Yeah, I got 2019 international award. My office did not tell me that they like, hey, there's a reunion, you gotta go. And uh, you gotta go. So I went to get, you know, excited to get that hype uh, around other agents. And uh, they got me to this one room. And then it was like a very formal setting and everything else. And we all had to dress up. And then they, um, they called my name and they said, uh, uh, you know, Rookie of the Year International, Kel Williams, Alexander Franco. I did not expect it. I mean, it was, I was very humbled, uh, you know, uh, but I always give praise to, uh, to the Lord because oh, yeah. without him, I would not be here and where I'm at and always humbled and uh, and yeah so 2019 then 2020 was a crazy year how many did you sell in 2020 I'm not gonna it was close to 100 it was either 996 or 101 I don't remember wow listen to that if this guy has something to say I would listen to him I would listen to Alex yeah and at that moment I just made it i hired myself an assistant okay. at one point we had 21 transactions at one time so um it was just it's a job just to keep on top of those 21 oh, transactions okay. at one time when you have it in an escrow man wow that that was that was intense that's intense that was intense i had a good uh, i had a good, a good team i had a good team at, at that moment and i just realized uh like I said, it's, I treat my every transaction like it was my first. I always give my everything 
when I work with a client, I, I don't, I, I mean, I sometimes, you know, they say, hey, you just don't care, it's not your listing. I said, no, I do care, because I pretend like that's my listing, like that's my house. And um, in 2020, 21, a word, a phrase came out, Frank of Special. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and everybody's like, what's Frank of Special? So in reality, what's Frank of Special is, is that, for example, you're going to become our client. You decide to work with me. Of course. I'm going to give you all the tools, all my resources, my knowledge that I gained and my failures. And I'm like, hey, don't do this, do this. This is the only way to do it. And there's a way to, you know, to renovate the house. There's, a, you know, and this is, this is the way, the best way to do it. There's a, you know, and I've done it and I don't want you to make any mistakes. Here's, you know, a blueprint. I love it. A man. blueprint, how I do it. And I'm going to share all my guys, all my subs, all my contractors, and, uh, in, and I'll give you where I buy that. And I, most of the places I buy my stuff, I get a special. Always. Special because of the, how much volume I give to them. Man. So, and that's kind of a little it's bit about you, me. Man, it's because of you. You're a good person, man. I and and my uh, my mission, I mean, to be to dive in deeper was yeah. to actually help out the ones like I remember myself being shy, being being out, you know, afraid to be in in a in, in a uncomfortable uncomfortable yeah. situation yeah, yeah. and and I want to bring people out of that I want them to give them opportunities I want everybody to make money I want everybody to I want to help other people build wealth and that's all I'm about I'm always telling them you know when you get married don't rent buy a primary live there renovate you know and then rent that one out build and keep, keep going building that portfolio don't rent don't rent absolutely because uh, i mean if you really count how much money you put into renting i mean in a 10 year you could be paying half of pay off your half of the oh, year easy. of your house easy. you know so it's just some people don't even realize that they try not to think about that but in reality as in 10 years let's say 250 to 300 that you're paying rent in the house and now it's even more i mean imagine that Man. why pay somebody else's so just buy rent uh, but and the thing is what's also different about me is that i like to help everybody i like to help agents yeah. and give my insight give my experience give my um to them because i i want everybody to be successful i want to help everybody uh, every as many people as i can i love it there's more than enough right there's, there's more, more than, than enough. enough you have a, absolutely you definitely have an abundance uh, mindset so i love it i love that you like like to give so this brings me to the question of okay you were with keller williams your whole career so why did you decide to join exp the reason why I decided to uh, go with two EXP is that I don't believe in some, I believe everything has to happen for a reason. And uh, it, believe it or not, in 2020, Flip and Flop host, uh, Tarek Musa, yeah. he called me, he's like, Alex, with all the volume you can do, with what you do, it aligns with, with our company. And you could be an uh, icon agent and you can get that money back in, in the form of stock. And at that point, I, it got me thinking. I wasn't ready to make a move, but it got me, the, the seed was planted. I see, man. And, and Keller Williams, I have not, I mean, I don't have anything bad to say about them. They're very good. They have a great culture. They have amazing agents um, who helped me and supported me in the beginning. But I, I came to a point of my career where when I hit the ceiling and I felt like I need somebody that could push me and get me more on, out, of my, out of my comfort zone. I want to be in front of camera. I want to tell my story. I want to help more people and be able to help my family along the way. So the, the stock option, um, the idea of not going to the office and it just, it's a right fit for me. It was the right time. I see, I see. So the seed was planted and then what better platform that you can just join 
is EXP. EXP was yep. it. It's a cloud-based brokerage where they're able to, now that we're cloud-based and not brick and mortar, not a traditional brokerage, yeah. that they're able to give back to the agents. Exactly. They gave back over $240 million back to yeah. the agents last year. Yeah. No other company can say that. Yep, so, absolutely. Man, I'm, so, I'm super thankful to even be sitting with a legend like yourself, man. Well, um, I'm, I'm humbled. So, um, yeah, man, that, it seems to me like, yeah, you're the perfect fit for the company. They say that um, it, whoever you are before you join DXP, it'll either make you or break you, but you're, you're definitely the perfect fit for helping others, not caring about just your own individual exactly. success. So, Man, I'm I'm pumped to see you, and you're rocking and rolling. Let's let's just talk about these last few weeks, man. I've been getting, I've been seeing all these listings pop up and all these videos, and man, to talk about business. How's business for the start of the year? It was good. Uh, I mean, on a January second, I closed uh, uh, my first transaction this year, and then I closed uh, about a couple off markets. Okay. Um, and then uh, last two weeks, I have. Uh, Last two weeks, we have listed uh, over seven listings in two weeks. In two weeks, which is which is uh, pretty busy. It keeps is busy. You, keeps you busy. <laughs> I see your phone is blowing up. All these showing notifications. Yep, yeah. yep. But yeah. I'm happy I'm in this position. Um, and uh, and uh, you know the reason my phone blows up is that you have to strategically know how to price them. Oh. You have to know how to market it. And if you do everything correct, it it's it would be it's absolutely matters who you work with. And um, and I have close to 400 listings, Man. which is gives you and uh, you know gives me some insight on the market pulse and <laughs> and such. So yeah. uh, so I'm excited and I'm I'm just every day I'm just get up and I'm thankful for for everybody that helped me along the way and I'm happy and humbled to where I'm at and I'm just I know I'm, I'm excited uh, to see how many more people I can help I love it man what's 20 what's this year look like what does 2024 look like what's the motto for this year 2024 um, I feel like I have a chip on the shoulder where um, some people didn't really believe in me and I want to I want to get back to um, to do a tr hundred transaction plus Man. yeah i have a board i i call it a magic board i have a so i have 46 um, um slots on that board so at this point i'm i'm only i have 42 transactions future transactions for the year only? so only <laughs> yes so you hear that he's saying only 42 transactions yes so um and i like to fill that those so i'm i'm I have four more that I need to fill that board up, and at that point, I feel like this is uh, this is good right now, uh, and then you know fill it up, and that's kind of gives me gives me some kind of drive, uh, some um, some goals. Um, so every time I go to my office, and I see like four more spots that I could uh, fill in and uh, put one more address, um, help somebody else, gives me joy and gives me like, oh yeah, this is, I'm very goal oriented person. So I have a goal, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. I love it. How, how important is it for goal setting for people, for other people and agents that are like just getting started? I mean, you just started, you said in 2019, but you did 40 plus or 36, 38, 38 transactions. transactions. Yeah. What can people do to like, get to this is goal setting part of it oh it's it's a, yeah it's like i mentioned before that diving off the cliff and starting to swim with the sharks um i i guess that was the biggest attribute that to my success because i wasn't um uh, it's the fear fear of unknown fear of being comfort uh, getting out of your comfort zone to me um i always say hey i don't have much to lose i have a lot to gain I love and that. which is this has kind of been my um, my saying something that I always try to s stick to you know is by hey Alex you, you can do it and then even somebody says you can't always try your best in the end of the day just just treat every transaction like it's yours and treat it treat that person like it was your first client. And, and if you do that, then uh, you'll be very successful. Whoever you are, whoever doesn't really think they can do it, I mean, 
I can do it, so each of you can. So don't come up with excuses. Um, just get out, get out of your comfort zone and go get it, and that's it. I mean, everybody can do it, absolutely. Absolutely, man, I love that. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, I appreciate you, and thank you again for sitting down with me and giving our audience uh, a wonderful story here to, that they can resonate with. I mean, let, let, how can they get a hold of you? How can the audience get a hold of you? Where, what platforms are you on? Um, I'm on Facebook. I'm on social media. Um, I am working on rebranding my, my sphere, uh, my social medias, and um, to become Franco special, um, you know, and, uh, but uh, right now they can find me on Alex Frankov, um, either Instagram or on Facebook. Okay, so you're on Facebook and yes. Instagram. So make sure to give this guy a follow, Alex Frankov. This guy is a beast and I love being surrounded w with people like him. Like this is what gets me going. When I'm surrounded by people that are doing more and just being better every day, growing and also humble, you know, you're a very humble guy, so give Alex a follow. I love being business partners with him and just bouncing ideas off of him. I and mean, you can learn a lot. So if you want to get a hold of Alex, if you want his blueprint on success, please reach out. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and notification bell. Uh, we'll see you on the next episode. And thank you again for watching.